going to share it on Facebook and everything so you can check it out, but it has all of our information. We're going to be having direct links to our YouTube channel where you can watch our streams and everything. And it's just a really exciting tool. We're excited that we get to share it with all of you guys. So let's have a good worship today. We will if I get the right key of advice.
this morning and those who are viewing my TV live streaming. We so appreciate all that you've done and what you've given and how you have just shown us respect by listening to us. It means so much to us. And uh, what a glorious day God has given us. How many of you are thankful for the local Lord's party? We don't have all the, the heat and the humidity, so I thank God for that. I would like to talk a few minutes today about being a masterpiece. I don't know if you realize it, but each of you are a masterpiece. Uh, Ephesians uh, 2.10 says in the Amplified Bible, for we are his workmanship, his own master work, a work of art. We are each a work of art. Created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to uh, be used for good works which God prepared for us beforehand. Uh, taking the past that he said so that he would walk in them. He would walk in them. Uh, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us. This scripture tells us that we are indeed God's masterpiece. We have been created by him in his workmanship. He predestined our steps. Even before we were born, he knew what was going to go on in our lives. He prepared the path that we are taking, and it's up to us to follow that path. We can either go toward him or we can go away. We are his symphony, symphony, and our lives are much like an orchestra. Uh, in each section of the orchestra, they must work together. I like that. We must work together to form the perfect symphony following the vision of the conductor and the composer. The woodwinds, the strings, the brass, and the percussion must all work in unity to produce a masterpiece. How many of you have ever heard of an orchestra and sometimes there may be one instrument that's just a little off? In an orchestra, you can generally tell right away the conductor and the composer wants it to be perfect, so you're going to have to keep going over and going over until it sounds perfect to them. Our lives are a little different. Our health, our relationships, our faith, life, our work, career, ministry, and our every day must work in harmony to follow the vision of our chief musician, the Lord Jesus Christ. Our health is key in producing our harmonious uh, sound in our life. How many of you know if you have a healthy body, you feel good? If you're not that smoked to far, you're a little draggy, your body knows. And your body wants to be in the most perfect health it possibly can. Instead of living, woe we'll is me life. I don't know about you, but I know a few people that every day it's woe we'll is me. As a Christian, we need to come out of that mindset and realize God created you to be someone special. We have those moments when we're down, but woe is me daily should not happen to us as we walk in the path that God has set for us. Uh, uh, we need to just remember who created us, and He created us for a purpose. And I, I have our, our career in college, but I'm going to come back to that in just a few minutes. Um, relationships. How many of you know you have to have healthy relationships to have a healthy life? You can sometimes get into a relationship that's not real healthy for you, and maybe God's trying to work in that relationship to show you, hey, this person isn't the right person, or what you're doing is not right. I'm trying to break you away from that. So we need to have joy in our relationship. If you're not happy in a relationship, I'm not talking about marriage. Most of us who are married, we're happy. We have those moments that maybe we're not. But in a relationship, before marriage takes place, you need to make sure that you have a peace about what God is doing in your life, and you will be able to follow that path that God has for you. Our relationships are the very core of our heart and life. A symphonic piece of music often has four different parts. Our lives are much like that symphonic uh, song made up of many parts. I want to go back to a few minutes. Colleagues will be starting shortly, or many. Uh, 
You cannot back off. You have to stay focused on what you're going, whether it be a, a new job, whether it be uh, going to a different school. You have to stay focused and say, Lord, I know I can do this with your help. I kind of thought about the Olympians. And I'm so sorry that we didn't have the Olympians here because I always like that. But the Olympians, each one of them goes through a struggle. They don't just go out there and win. They've had a lot of bumps. They've had a lot of falls. They've had a lot of things they've had to deal with. They've had a lot of pain. They've had a lot of hurts, a lot of injuries. But you know what? I don't believe one of them stopped and cried and went home to mom and daddy. They just kept going and stayed focused on what they were supposed to be doing. And Olympian is focused. As college students, freshmen going in, you have to stay focused on what God has for you. Don't let people change you. I'm going to say that again. Don't let people change you. Amen. Because they will try. Stand for what you know is right. Just be yourself. There means you don't have to be loud and valley. You just be what God wants you to be. Don't let them change you. If anything, let your life change them in the way that you act. Um, I thought of this song. I do, and and I, my mind went blank when I was just saying it. But it says, I pick myself up, dust myself off, and I start all over again. So once you fall, you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and with your head held high, you just take one step, you lift that leg, you take another, you lift up, and you go forward to the point where you fell, and God is going to give you the strength to go on. So anytime, not just college students, we as adults, if you fail, if you fall back, just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, hold your head up prideful and say, with God's help, I am going to make this. I can do this. I can make it through anything. We can't leave, let detours make us lose our focus or our determination and our fortitude. You, if you act with courage, God will give you even more courage. God will give you the strength to go past that rough area, but it's up to you whether you will do it or not. And, and I, I say this with, with so much love for any college student. I give you kudos for taking a step and be able to. I'm going to be honest, when my granddaughters talk to me about some of their subjects, it's a good thing they have a mom and dad that knows everything. I can help them because they felt hopeless if I was out there. But thank God they have parents who help them. Uh, God can't God can't steer a park call. What I mean is it's up to you to move. If you don't move, God can't do anything. He's saying, come on. How many of you have ever seen a stumble down on the water? And unless it has its its uh, plank up. It sails up, it's not going to move. The person in that boat has to make sure those sails are ready so that the wind can blow it and can go. It's just like us. We have to take the first step. We have to move. We have to say, okay, I can do it, but God, I'm going to need your help. He said, I'm helping you. You just have to take that first step. Move over so that I can give you what you need to happen. We need to always remember. We don't do anything on our own. Adults, we don't do anything on our own. We may think we can, but I'm telling you, I have failed many times. If it hadn't been for God in my life, I would not have been able to get up and keep on going. The struggle is real. The struggle is hard. You're going to have those days when you wake up and say, well, I don't want to get out of bed. He's all, come on, get up. We can do this together. And he's right there. He's saying, I want to help you make it through this day. We've got this, people. We've got this, Gloria. Just come on, get it out again. Mm -hmm. So, every morning, and I'm going to do this half before I'm going to fly up right there. Every morning, I said, boy, I can sleep in, but I said, oh, now it's time to get up. Let's get into the day. And I find when I get up early, I'm able to do things. College students, when you get up in the morning, I know it's not going to be easy. That alarm to go off and say, huh, oh, do I have to do this? Yes, you do. But the thing is, anymore, they do a lot of this online. I believe they do a lot of classes online. So you can make it. Freshman, you can make it. Uh, you've got people that are going to help you. And I am thankful for what God has done in each of your lives. And where he's brought you from, from childhood. I'm not just my grandchildren. I've watched a lot of these sitting here grow. And what a change has been in your life. And I'm so thankful that they have continued to serve God 
Oh, 